It's Jay Coffee on the vid, back with some NFL news, some breaking NFL news. It just hit the blogosphere today that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are taking it back, rocking the throwback creamsicle jerseys, one game only, versus former NFC Central, as you know, that division does not exist anymore. Former NFC Central divisional rivals, the Detroit Lions. This game is on October 15th, and, uh, you know, it's got the, the, the blogosphere buzzing. The fans are talking about this as the creamsicle jerseys were like uh, a jersey that, what do you guys think? A lot of people used to say, oh, those jerseys are ugly, they're whack, et cetera, et cetera. And I remember the first year, what was it, 97, 98, I believe, when they switched over to the new current jerseys, the Buccaneers, you know, who had been a pretty bad team, started off the season like 4-0, and I think, but I don't think they carried on. And apparently this is the first time they've worn that jersey since 2012. I don't remember what game, who that was against, but I do remember somewhere around 07, 08, 09, somewhere in that time frame, they had the Bay of Pigs game. I remember Berman was calling it that uh, during you know, when he used to call the highlights on Sports Center, man, we need Berman back. Whoop, whoop, remember that? Berman was the man. But the Bay of Pigs game, um, Buccaneers versus Green Bay Packers, both teams wore their throwbacks, I believe, and it was a, it was a pretty dope event, a momentous occasion. And I don't know, what do you guys think about this, the creamsicle jerseys? Uh, do you like the jerseys? Do you think this is cool? I like it. I like to see the throwbacks come back and, A question everyone's asking right now is um, to Buccaneers fans. And Buccaneers fans, please comment if any of you guys happen to see this video, if it breaks through in the blogosphere and anyone sees the damn thing. uh, If you were to buy a throwback creamsicle Buccaneers jersey, who would you buy? What player would you select? Would you go with a, a player from back in the day? Or would you just get a Brady one? You know, a lot of the... Brady fans, I know, probably going to go with that or whatever. But, like, who who would be the guy? Would you get an all-star jersey? Um, like, what? Let's talk about it. I, I'm curious to know. You know what I'm saying? But with the news of these creamsicle jerseys dro- uh, dropping and coming out, it got my Buffalo Bills fans, Bills Mafia, talking once again about the Bills red helmets if you guys recall, last year, as there's been a lot of talk amongst Bills Mafia for the longest time, Billy Joe voice, you know, go back to the red helmets, go back to the red end zones, you know, as that was what was around during the Super Bowl era. Uh, Last year, Josh Allen, out of nowhere, just comes out at practice rocking a red helmet. And it, you know, everyone was talking like, oh, is Josh telling us, is this going to be an alternate uh, what's going on, what's really good with this. But, you know, the Bills uh, franchise ended up taking to their social networks and saying, yo, this was just Josh having fun. He tricked everybody, including his fellow players. But it really got a lot of fans, like, happy and talking about it. And you see today in Bills Twitter with the cream school news dropping, fans are sharing this and saying, yo, Bills, do it. You know, they're 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 sharing that and then, sharing the, the the red helmet Josh Allen pitcher. And um, I don't know. I mean, I like the Bills' current jerseys. I think they're dope. I like that we wear the throwbacks, um, you know, with the standing Buffalo. Although, I can't front. I do like, you know, the, 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 the red helmet, the Super Bowl era helmet. But um, I don't know. You know, at the end of the day, it's just jerseys. It ain't the biggest news in the world, but... I don't know. I still thought it was worth talking about, Um, you know, as uh, the Bills currently now wear a white helmet because originally we had the standing Buffalo. I think we have a on a white helmet. We had a standing Buffalo on a on a red helmet. I believe I know we wore a throwback like that at one point. But then, you know, they switched over to the more current logo, the charging Buffalo, which originally was on a white helmet, which is what we rock now. But I remember, you know, uh, back in the day hearing when the Bills switched over to red, I forget who the quarterback was at the time. He said it made uh, it a lot easier for him to see who he was throwing the ball to out there, as I believe 
most of our divisional rivals at the time were rock and white helmets as well. I think damn near majority of the league was at that point. So the red helmet helped the quarterback out in that sense. But, you know, uh, we when did we switch over? 2011, I think, to back to this white helmet. I don't know. I like it. Uh, all the Bills fans, let me know what you think. But uh, there you have it, man. The creamsicles are back. Bill, Bills Mafia wants to see the red helmets. What's your thoughts about it all? And uh, Buccaneers fans, who would you cop the throwback of? Let's talk about it below. Subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace.